Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the E-Novators. In today's video, we are making an edge bridge. It is an electronic circuit that switches the polarity of the voltage applied to the load. These circuits are often used in robotics because they allow the DC motor to run forward and backward. So let's jump into the circuit building. Before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do it to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. For the circuit building, we need two BC557 transistors, two BC547 transistors, some 1 kilo ohm resistors, two push buttons, some 4148 Zener diodes, a 9 volts motor, a 9 volts battery, and a Vero board. First, we connect the two BC557 transistors. Secondly, we connect the emitter of the BC557 transistor to the collector of the BC547 transistor on both sides. This is a 4148 Zener diode. It has a single one black line on its side of its one terminal which is negative and the other side is the positive. Connect negative of the diode to the collector of the BC557 and the positive of the diode to the connected terminal of the BC557 and the BC547. Take the second Zener diode and connect its negative terminal to the positive terminal of the first diode and connect the positive terminal of the second diode to the emitter of the BC547 transistor and we need to do the same on the both sides of the breadboard. We have to connect the input to bases of all the four transistors. In order to prevent them from damage, we have to connect one terminal of the 1 kilo ohm resistor from the bases of all four transistors. Other terminals of the first two resistors are connected together and other two resistors are also connected together. Push button is non-polar so connect its first terminal to the emitter of the BC547 transistor. Another terminal is connected with the connected terminal of the resistors. Do same one other side of the breadboard. Connect the emitter of both the BC547 transistors with the help of the jumper wires. Then connect the negative terminal of the battery from them. And connect the positive of the battery to the collector of the BC557 transistor. Also connect both the collectors of the BC557 transistors. Our circuit is almost complete, we just need to connect the motor. One terminal of the DC motor is connected with the connected terminal of the BC557 and the BC547. And the other terminal of the motor is connected with the other connected terminal of the BC557 and the BC547 transistor.
Now let's see the demo of our circuit. Here you can see from first button our DC motor moves in forward direction or in clockwise direction. And from other push button our DC motor moves in reverse direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Move towards the mechanism of the circuit, if we press first push button, BC557 transistor from its side and the BC547 transistor from the other side will activate and when we press the second push button, the BC557 from its side and the BC547 transistor from the other side will activate. So guys that's it for today, I hope you guys liked the video, if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Also join us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, the links are in the description below. Stay safe, stay at home, see you guys in the next video shortly, peace out.